see, you can kind of see over here in this left corner, there's a blue truck. The vehicle I'm about to pull is a 1939 Ford. Simple as that. It's blue with flames. Now, when I was told this truck had flames, I was imagining the flames on the car, like from Greece, when they had the black car with the red and yellow flames on the wheel wall, is what you see here. But no, it's blue on blue. First, I wasn't too sure how I feel about it, but I don't hate it. It's subtle. Check out this. Super clean Trans Am. It's a pace car. Just came in as well. It's a new car at the shop. So I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to show you guys some details about this car. Don't know everything about it. The guy that's driving the Trans Am knows more, so he should have a video up on his channel. He'll probably see it within the next week or two, if not three. I'll leave his uh, link for his channel in the description below. So I'm going to pull this out. Just wait. See, it is blue on blue with the flame. It's super subtle, so you can't really see the flames too much. But honestly, I don't hate it. It's a clean little look. I mean, I wouldn't drive it daily, but it's a classic, I guess you could say. It is a V8, flathead V8. You can see the emblem in the front. Yeah. And then when you want to open the hood, you do that, and there you go. Stay up for a second, please. I don't think it wants to stay up. I don't want to stay up and you lock it like that. Open. Comes with a spare tire on the side, as you can see. White walls. Now, from what I was just told, these aren't legit white walls. These are the ones that you can take off and on, which I find it's kind of tacky, which is why they're kind of like all beat up. It's because really old. Like I said, it's 1959. It's got nice wooden rails in the bed. Wooden floor. I'm going to dry it up. Don't hate me. It's just a lot easier to dry your bed when you dry it. Let's see back in. Super clean. This is how you fill the gas. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how you start this. So just like the vehicle I showed you guys was the, I want to say 1940. Showed with the 1940 vehicle I showed about two weeks ago. The e-brakes over here and the ignition's right here. It's the same ignition. So you have to turn the key Push this to on till the cylinders, well, turn this key till the cylinder's out. And you turn this on and you push this button. It's the same concept as the last vehicle I showed you, so you gotta know how to do it. If you have not watched the video of the 1940, go watch it, but this is how you turn it on and off. So you have the key. Well, you gotta make sure this is at half my mark. You turn this. So once it's flush, that means you can't start it. But once you take this, turn it out like that, and you push this on, then you hit that. That's how you start it. Pretty simple. I mean, it's kind of a push start back in the 1930s, 1940s, which is pretty cool, but yeah, it's a little details you like. Then you got your, oh, sorry for the fingers. Got the clutch, brake, and the small gas pedal. And it is indeed a three on, uh, three speed. So you push the clutch in, and you gotta take the e-brake out first. Make sure it's all out. And this is reverse, first, second, third. That's simple. I wish I had a better way of showing you me driving this truck, but I don't have much of a choice because I don't have a GoPro, not a GoPro, I don't have a uh, mount of any sort, so I'm gonna try this one-handed again, like last time. Ooh. And then you shift it up in the second, and you're good to go. Now remember kids, don't text and drive and use two hands at all times. It's very important. Honestly, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna show you guys how to open this window up too. The AC is the same as well as it was on the 19th. Take this inside. As you guys remember, the vent right there, that's the AC. The vent opener is right there. You push that down and that opens this. I'll show you another clip of it. Just open it. Shut, open. This is Justin, or AKA Jay. What'd you say? So just keep it outside I'm for going a minute. I'm gonna show him how to open this window because it's pretty cool. It is super cool. Yeah. Also, look at this little detail badge. I love details. You guys know. Window. Now, you wouldn't think that this windshield would open. Now, it's not crazy open like 90 degrees, but watch this, right? So you take this and you twist it a couple times. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand the angle I'm sitting at. Just keep twisting it. Keep twisting it. Oh God, my arm's cramping. And check that out. Imagine the AC flow you'd get driving this down the road. That would be nice. Now look at this. It's a, it's a nice little truck. I mean, it's kind of small, but I, I vibe with it. It's a cool thing. Horn work? No, horn don't work. That's unfortunate. 
Also, windshield wiper should work, but it's right there. I think there's something wrong with it at the moment, so don't don't mind that. It looks so goofy from the outside, but until you experience what it's like to drive with a vent system like that, it'll change your mind. It's the best AC you'll ever get, I promise you that.